Hello guys, today we are going to learn about neighborhood processing. This is the another part of image enhancement techniques. Now, in neighborhood processing, we, uh, we consider the neighborhood of the pixel of interest. Here, I have uh, drawn the spatial domain representation of an image. This f of x comma y is my pixel of interest. When I process or when I want to change the value of this pixel, I will consider all these surrounding pixels too. That's called neighborhood processing. Now, uh, how have I mapped here the neighborhood? It's just simple. This is say my x direction and this is my y, my y direction. Now using the coordinate sense, I can get the locations of the neighborhood pixels around this f of x comma y. Now neighborhood processing is highly used in filtering, fil different types of filters. Some of the filters that we are going to see in the subsequent tutorials are low pass filters, high pass filters and high boost filters. Now how is this filtering done? There has to be some entity that makes changes in this pixel along with the neighborhood that surrounds it. As in the point processing techniques, there was a transform to change a particular pixel's intensity one by one in neighborhood processing to do it simultaneously at the same that is at the same time we use a mask. Now let us see what is a mask. Now you can see over here I have drawn a matrix which can be regarded as spatial domain representation. This is uh, usually how a mask look like. Uh, for low pass filters we have a different mask. For high pass filter there is another one. Each mask has elements in such a way that is the values are such that the, the output that we get is, is in accordance to our requirement. Now this over here has each element value as 1. This is a low pass filter mask which is of the dimension of 3 by 3. Now 1 upon A is the scaling factor which accompanies each mask according to the dimensions and the value of the, or the net value of all the uh, elements in the mask the scaling factor is adjusted accordingly here in this low pass filter mask we have all the ones and there are nine ones now when I impose this mask always remember a mask is imposed upon an image so for that purpose the value of A must be 9 because we can remember it in a simple way that there are 9 elements so the mask scaling factor is 9. Each mask has a different scaling factor. It can be adjusted in accordance to our requirement. Now let us see how a mask is imposed upon an image. Now here we can see I have drawn a 3D representation of how imposition really works. This plane drawn in purple or simply I am saying it's the plane uh, that is below the lowermost plane is my image. The upper plane, the plane above it is my mask. Now I am doing say low pass filtering so my mask values elements or that is the values of all the elements will be 1 as we saw just now. When I, Im I say I impose this mask upon the image I will simply multiply the value present in this element with the value present in the element that is directly below it. This is called literal imposition. So every time I impose a mask, I multiply the val this value with the, this value. That is, this one will be multiplied with f of x comma y. This one will be multiplied with f of x minus 1 comma y. Also, it is to be remembered, the speciality or the output of the neighborhood processing is always seen over here. That is, in the element that is in the center, as I said, earlier the pixel of interest 
the uh, surrounding elements are also changed but for every element we do neighborhood processing it will be seen in, uh, more clearly in the subsequent tutorials when i show you how low pass filtering is done and high pass filtering is done using masks now uh, having said that we are going to use this neighborhood processing in filters filters are generally related with frequencies there are frequency responses all sorts of things relating with frequencies the so in image processing these filters are much similar with the filters that we have learned in the analog domain so there is also a concept of frequency especially for image processing now let us see what is this concept as i have shown here this is say my image and it is uh, fairly divided into black portion that I have shaded here and white portion. So as I travel from this point, say from this A region to region C, I am encountering only black va values of pixels. Uh, so it is pretty constant. There is no change in the uh, intensity of the image. The, in this portion as I have tra I am traveling from in this image towards this white portion so this is my low intensity area when I uh, come at this portion that I have represented with B I get a sharp change in the intensity from from back black sorry from black to white so here I uh, I say I have encountered high frequency because there is a sharp change of intensity now as I again travel in this region uh, C I encounter all the intensities that are white so this is my low intensity or low frequency sorry this is my low frequency region so in basically in image processing how often the intensity changes sharply is the frequency uh, not how often how the, uh, the intensity changes is the frequency as we can see over here this is my hand and this has a particular color which may be of high intensity at this position so so this is all uh, one color of one intensity and this is another color of another intensity separated by a line over here so this region over here is said to be a high frequency region now in other tutorials following this we will see how low pass filtering is done and high pass filtering is done thank you